Hello everybody, it's Tom from Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing well. Uh, today we're going to talk about garlic and the benefits of garlic. They actually called it one time nature's pill to cure any ailment. I don't know if you guys uh, remember, I my mother used to say, this is going to cure any ailment you have. Well, not only that, it hurt my nose. <clears throat> garlic is a popular because it's in many dishes. In fact, it's in a lot of dishes you eat. Uh, it can lower blood pressure. Uh, some studies have found that garlic it can help with your blood pressure in general. It's amazing how the natural things that you don't even think about. It can actually lower your cholesterol, and it can help your uh, LDL, your bad cholesterol. And, of course, garlic has, just like it does with berries, has many anti-inflammatory effects. It can help reduce inflammation to the body, which is beneficial, uh, which is great for people that have asthma and <clears throat> breathing problems. It can also boost your immune system and they believe garlic help, uh, produce your, helps protect your immune system for any kind of disease or sickness. I know that years ago my mother would make this concoction of onion and garlic together and say drink it in a little uh, drink. She sometimes would boil it or something. It tasted horrible but I guess it worked. You know what? I can say this for sure. Uh, I've not been sick that many. I've been more sick here in the Philippines than I have any other time in my life. Uh, you could probably count on one hand as many times I've been sick in my life. Thank, thank God. So uh, maybe my mother really boosted me up. God contains antioxidants for it protects your cells and helps uh, caused by free radicals. And also, too, garlic is really good if you, uh, a couple ways you can do it. Uh, there's uh, many ways people cook with it. <clears throat> I put it, I take garlic and I mash a little bit up, uh, get the oils out of it, but I actually put it in olive oil and create a garlic olive oil. It's really good. <clears throat> it actually says the garlic can also help with uh, exercise program performance. And helping uh, reduce fatigue. Uh, we know that garlic has anti-cancer effects. And garlic has properties that may help reduce the risk of certain types of cancer. Especially such as stomach and colon cancer. Uh, a lot of people have used garlic. And if you uh, uh, know, read a lot of the things, it's got garlic and weight loss. Uh, some have powder, some type of garlic in the weight loss pills. And it helps you re reduce the fat mass which I need about 100 cloves of that. Uh, my thing is uh, exercise, 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 exercise on a regular basis. It's not necessarily the foods I eat. I just don't get enough exercise as I should. Uh, the uh, And walking is a great source, and I walk as much as I can when I can. And it's great for bone health. Garlic improves bone health by increasing uh, bone density and the risk of osteoporosis. Uh, I know that uh, they say they can help in brain function, but I don't know about that. Uh, they, the study's been shown that it helps with memory. And so we know that it helps with heart disease, and it improves cholesterol. So that's a positive thing. And, of course, uh, back years ago, they, they said that garlic is really good to help with uh, aging eff effects like... Uh, to help with aging, to help aid with aging. So today, people a lot of times have symptoms of diabetes and things like that. Gar garlic can help with your insulin levels too. Garlic is really great, a magic pill, I think, that we sometimes forget about and don't really uh, understand it and use it properly. Garlic, turmeric is another one that has anti-cancer fighting. I was really into the seasoning and seasoning type stuff for years and eating a healthy diet. And one of the challenges I had when I had my business years ago, my manufacturing was when I was creating recipes for selling this stuff, I had a wild dream and I did it and I achieved it. I was selling seasonings and all natural products and selling, tried to sell as much organic as I could, but I really couldn't get they're just not available. Did a lot of dehydrated stuff, but my seasonings were all natural. I didn't put no preservatives or anything in those, and people could buy those. It's still in business today. The company's still in business today. The thing that you have to realize that 
more than anything else in the world that when you put something inside your body, you want to make sure it's good for you. Sugar and things like that are bad for you. And uh, we often sometimes, well, you need that fix of sugar. And we all do it, including myself. I decided that as a no sugar diet and I'm doing really good with it. And I, my sugar is limited down to none. If anything, it's, it's very minute to even say anything. Because a lot of things we eat, we don't really realize it has sugar in it. I ate a snack yesterday that was made by someone else. It says nothing in there. It's just pure fruit. Uh, but uh, I did not know she had a sugar in it. I said, it's got sugar in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got sugar in it. Well, I asked. But it's all right. I mean, at least I caught it in the beginning. But even though I say to myself, I do indulge from time to time. I don't sit there and deprive my body 100%. A little can go a long way, you know. And But it's not as much as I was eating one to three, one to four, one to five teaspoons of sugar a day. Rice is a sugar based product that once it goes in your body uh, one cup can turn into 22 teaspoons of sugar because of your insulin and how it's produced after it's produced in your body so you got to be really careful with the rice and rice intake uh, so many young people have problems with their blood pressure and everything else here in the Philippines and a lot of it's because of the rice and so I eat no rice other than diabetic rice. I eat diabetic rice, which is the red rice. I won't touch white rice unless I absolutely have to and I'm starving. If not, and I can eat a piece of bread instead, I will do that because I will not eat, eat the rice. Now, bread is has, you know, not always good for you either, even wheat bread. But it's better than eating a cup or two cups of rice or three cups of rice at a meal and have all that in your in your body. But I want to thank everybody for always watching my videos. And I want to thank everybody for always coming on. God bless everybody. And I'll see everybody next time on Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle.